Hello, we're just about to look at the, the new database search page for plants for a future. So let's go to the website. To find the database search, go to database. Here's the page. I'm going to go for a more complex search. What we've done now on the, on the latest version, we've combined uses with properties. So now you can search for all the uses and all the properties at the same time. So it's worth trying. Start with something simple. You might just want to choose for a plant that has antacid properties or one, for example, that has, that's good for ground cover. Um, we've added edible rating now and medicinal rating as part of the, the search function. And we've also got edible parts as well. So you can search for um, the flower, the fruit, the inner bark. So you've got a choice to add to your search. Don't forget if you search for too many things, you probably won't get any plants. So you've got to give it a little bit of flexibility. If you do a search um, and you've got too many plants to look at, you can then narrow it down, maybe choose another property or another use um, just to, to have less plants rather than more. So what we'll start with, we'll start with a simple search. I'm interested in a hedge. So let's go down here. Special uses, I'll choose hedge. In my garden, I want a shrub. So I'll choose shrub. I'm looking for something between 1.2 and 1.5 meters high. So I'll choose here 1.1 1 .1 meter to five meters. I'm also interested in attracting wildlife. That's good. I know if I search now that I'll have probably too many plants to actually go through. So I'll try and narrow that down a little bit more. So I'll choose an evergreen, a light something that's got kind of greenery for the whole year. And I'm also going to look for an edibility rating of three, four and five. So let's do a search. And there you go. Still quite a large selection, but that's good. Let's choose one of them. Let's try, for example, Mahonia. There we go. So there we go. We've got edibility rating of three, four, or five, which has worked. Um, here we go down here. Dum -dum. It's a hedge, which again is what we wanted. It's a, a nevergreen shrub as well. So it's actually met all the criterion that we wanted. So if I go back to database search page, page we'll now start and try a different search. Reset that. There we go. And this time I'm going to look for a medicinal plant. So I'm going to choose three, four, or five in the medicinal rating here. I'm looking for a tea. So I'm interested in plants I can use for teas. Uh, and I'd like to use the actual leaves of the plant. So I'll choose leaves. And let's do a little search there. There we go. So quite a few plants. There's some ones you already know. Let's try one of them. Digress. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Medicine, medicinal rating of five, which is very good. Um, can be used for tea. Can be used for coffee. Different medicinal uses. So exactly what we wanted. And the leaves as well. Let's do one more search just to give you an idea of what else we can do. So back to the database. Scroll down. Reset just to make sure. So in this case, I might be interested in aromatherapy. So I'll scroll down until I find aromatherapy. 
which was aromatherapy. I'd like an evergreen. Uh, yep, there we go. Again, I'm looking for a shrub. I want it medium height, so I'm looking again about 1.2 meters to 1.5 meters. So I'll choose this range, one meter to five meters. And I'm looking for an additional rating of three, four, and five again. Search there. And now we've got four choices. So if we go to say lavender, uh, there we go. Additional rating of three. It's a shrub, 1.2 meters. Use for aromatherapy. One thing you might notice if I hover over one of these properties, it does actually give you information on it. So again, just a little tip. And that's it for the search. Very simple. What we're going to look at next, probably on another video, is the search page content. So this is a more complex Google type search.